Matt here from Tyke to help you get started with GCP and Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Now you'll notice I'm on the dashboard. The first thing that I'm going to come to is actually I'm going to create my first instance. So I'm going to come to VM instances. Your screen may look a little different than this if you've already created some instances, but since I haven't, the next thing I'm going to click is create. Then I'm going to call this tyke-poc and I will keep my region as US Central and we'll keep the zone the same as well. For our purposes, I will use a uh, general purpose E2 and I'll use one of the mediums. Coming down here a little further, I'm going to click on allow HTTP and allow HTTPS traffic and I'm going to come here and change from Debian and I'm going to change over to Red Hat Enterprise Linux and I'm going to pick RHEL 7 here to get started and we'll do select and just one more quick thing that we're going to do here is click create which will then create our instance for us one thing to note is if we do come back in here and I look at network details, if I click view details, it's going to bring me over to the VPC network screen. I'm going to click on firewall and you'll see on yours you most likely have default allow HTTP, HTTPS, ICMP, and internal. These are the default setup on GCP. What I have done is added a, another one here which is allow all and you'll see that if you want to create a new one you can do create firewall rule but I've created as type ingress targets HTTP server that's the tag that I'm using filters I've allowed all IP ranges to come through based on that 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 all protocols and I'm allowing requests to come in so this is just going to open up basically open up the entire firewall for us from a POC perspective, this is okay. If you are doing things in a production manner, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you only allow specific ports to come through that are needed by Tyke. So, coming back here to our compute engine VM instances, I'm gonna click SSH here, and that's gonna bring me up into basically a web terminal. Okay, and now we're logged in to the web terminal via SSH. So what I'm going to do first is do a sudo yum update dash y, and that's going to update yum for us. Could take a little while depending on how fast your network connection is. Okay, and once that's completed, our next step is going to be to install git. So we'll do sudo yum install git dash y and run that command. And once that's done, we're going to install Docker. So we'll do sudo yum install dash y Docker. All right, now I've got Docker installed. So our next step is to start Docker. So we'll do sudo uh, system ctl start Docker. Okay, then we're gonna download Docker Compose. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this command in. If you do want to have easy access to these commands, you can also check, our check out our companion guide for this, where you can just copy and paste everything in and see it in the written format. So I'm going to run this, which is sudo curl dash capital L. This is going to point to our Docker Compose uh, repository and is going to download for us. So there we go. Now we've got Docker Compose. Our next step is to make that Docker Compose executable. 
So for that, we will do sudo chmod plus x then slash user slash local slash bin slash docker dash compose. Okay, and then we're going to do a symlink. So we're going to create a docker compose symlink here. I'm going to paste that in as well. So sudo ln dash s. Then we have our path to our docker compose and where we want the symlink to be located. And once that's completed, then what we'll do is we're going to actually clone down our tyke pro docker repo. And to do that, again, I'm going to copy and paste that over. And we'll do git clone. And then we'll point to our repository here, which is github.com slash tyke technologies slash tyke dash pro dash docker dash demo. And that's going to pull that down for us. And now we have that. So our next step is to change to the root user. So we'll do sudo su. And we have to do a few things to get this to run on Red Hat Linux. So what we're going to do is change into our tyke pro docker folder. So we'll do cd tyke pro docker demo and change into that. So now what we're going to do is make a couple of adjustments to our docker compose.yml file. And to do that, we're going to use vim. And we'll do vim docker-compose.yml. And here's our file. And what we need to do for this to run on RHEL 7 is obviously put vim into insert mode and then do a colon z. And we'll do the same when we come down to our volumes for the tyke gateway. Under confs here, we'll do conf z just like that. All right, so I'll press escape, which gets us out of edit mode. Then I'll do colon wq to save and quit and press enter. And our last step here is to then bring up the containers by using docker dash compose up dash D. Okay, and now we have our stack up. It's ready to go. Now let's actually go to the type dashboard and start bootstrapping this. So come back here. We can grab our external IP. So copy to clipboard. Open up a new tab. That HTTP slash slash. And I'm going to access the dashboard on port 3000, which is where it's running. And you'll see that it says I have an unlicensed dashboard. Well, compared to the other tutorials, we're going to do this just a little bit differently. You can, in the tyke underscore analytics dot conf, plug in your license key there. Or what you can do is just plug it in here, which is actually a little bit easier. So I'm going to grab my license key and I am going to paste it right here and click activate key. So now to actually fill in some details. So my organization name, I'm going to put in as tyke. Organization slug, I'll put in as tyke as well. Email, I'll put in my tyke.io email. First name, last name, password. And click the terms and conditions. Then I'm going to click bootstrap. All right, so as you can see, we're now in the Tyke dashboard. That means we've bootstrapped it correctly and it's worked for us. What we're going to do is just create a quick API to make sure that everything is working as we expect it. So in the side menu here, we're going to click APIs, click Add New API. I'm going to call this Test API. It's going to be a REST API. The listen path here, target URL, is going to be httpbin.org, which is the default here. We just want to have it echo back to us. So what's going to happen is Tyke will receive the request, forward it to httpbin, then back to us, and then back to our request from Postman. And that's going to confirm to us that 
everything is working as it should from the dashboard all the way through to the gateway. And then we're going to click Configure API. Now everything can be left the way that it is, so we'll come down right to the bottom and we're going to change this from Authentication Token to Open Keyless. And then we'll click Save. Now, let's test this in Postman. So we're going to need our IP address. And we'll come over into Postman. And I'm going to replace this with my current URL. So what you should have is you should have your IP address of your instance. We're going to aim at port 8080 because that's where the gateway is running and that's where we want a request to go. And then we're going to do slash test dash API slash because that is the endpoint that we're trying to hit. What we should see is basically what's already here. So I'm going to send this again. And voila, there we go. We know that everything is working. Our Dashboard has successfully set up the endpoint on our gateway, and our gateway is then accepting that request. And that is how easy it is to get started with Tyke on GCP and Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.